Hi guys. It's one of my favorite songs. When it first came out, I used to dance to it at Curves Cabaret. Yes, I was an entertainer, not a stripper. I can't go for that, no. No can do. I can't go for that, no. No can do. No can do. Can't go for that. Can't go for that. How many of you like this song, man? Yes, I am driving. So what? At least my eyes are on the road. <laughs> Almost anything. I'll do almost anything. Ah, almost anything that you want me to. Yeah, I can't go for that. No, no can do. It is windy out here today. So how are you guys doing? I want to give a big shout out to uh, all the participants in uh, the Reef Park protest. We rocked it, man. I mean, what was it? The next day, they had that letter out by the mayor. Thank you, Mayor Romero. I don't care what anyone says. What she did benefited us all and kind of showed all our hard work was for, wasn't just for nothing, you know. Um, we're all human. I mean, yes, we all have political reasons and and our tensions, intentions, okay, are what matter. And, um, let me turn this down. Sorry, I'm getting a little baffled. Um, it's our intentions, guys. You know, it's our intention when we do stuff. It's our intention when we say stuff um, on how we present our cases, how we speak what we need to speak, and, you know, ask for what we need. It all comes down to that, you know. You have to have intention. If your intention is to purposely hurt someone, then you're going to do that. And that is on you, right? Hold on. I have an interlock still till June. Yeah, 12-year-old charge that was wiped off my record, but yet motor vehicle doesn't forget. Anyhow, um, it's our intention. So if our intention is to hurt someone, we're going to do that, right? So, you know, her intention, whatever it was, weighed all sides, I, I think, and from my perspective of the letter that she wrote, uh, seizing the construction basically says, until we can all grow up, <laughs> meet together on common ground and actually maybe come up with a plan B, you know, then it's to be halted, and so I give her all the praise. Thank you, Mayor. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a wonderful thing that everybody has done. Um, we've all pulled together in our own ways, whether that is being there for support, whether that was, you know, dancing, whether it was playing music, whether it was handing out flyers, talking to people, whatever. Your voice matters. Your voice matters. And I appreciate all of you. I'm going through some stuff right now and it's been like very emotional but it's more like reflective about what we do have whatever blessings we do have right now in front of us is what is important to me right now and I'll tell you I'm tired of being alone I'm tired of being sad I'm tired of crying and over my stuff with my family you know it's been 10 years and I'm just burnt out and I'm ready for a change so I don't care what I gotta do um, to make that change, but I have to be the one to do it, right? And I would hope that all of you guys listening to this are wanting to hear this right now or needing to hear it because I'm feeling compelled to do this video. That you are worthy and you are needed and you have a purpose and a mission in this life to do something great or to teach someone something. And uh, I highly encourage you guys to keep doing that for yourselves. You know, whatever it is. Lately, I've been getting into painting. I'm starting to realize that I am an artist. I never claimed that before. But I am now. I mean, look at my masterpieces. I mean, I'm creating beautiful art. 
Um, we got the art show coming up too. That made me think of that. We got it coming up. We got it approved, or I got it approved for once a month at Rockabilly. I'm gonna have two bands because I think it's better that way and we can cycle out the bands each month, yes, but the vendors will be um, available to um, pay a fee, um, which the fee will go towards paying the band, I think. And uh, yeah, so every month um, I'll start a calendar and we'll start filling in slots. Um, I think I'll be setting up the payments probably through Rockabilly, um, so you'll be able to go in there and just pay them and they can keep it in a bucket. Um, I have some raffle tickets, uh, prizes with some of my paintings even, um, who knows. So stay tuned for all of that. I got to put it all together. I'm putting together the bands now so I can make a flyer for you guys. I'm so excited. Today's Saturday, um, March 6th I think. <clears throat> Brian Dean is playing over at the hut here at 2.30 and I think Bad Influence is playing tonight over at Rockabilly 7 to 11. Let's see, and then tomorrow is our Sunday fun day. We meet at Reed Park Duck Pond at 1 o'clock for Sacred Sunday Circles. My group started two years ago for healing arts, whatever. It turned into what it is today. Um, very blessed. Um, that starts at 1, and then I'm sure Save the Heart of Reed Park will have their booth there. So you can meet up with them, find out what else you can do as far as writing more letters um, and continuing it on. So, um, yeah, look forward for that, too. Um, every Sunday, 1 o'clock, we're always there. So, if you miss it this week, you can come next week or the week after, because we're not going to stop. March 28th, I will be putting together a flyer and an event page on Facebook for our one-year anniversary at Reed Park uh, playing music. Uh, ever since they locked us down in COVID, we went right to the park. John was sad, I was sad, and we just said, well, and I told him I started a group at Reed Park, we can take it there. And here we are a year later, so thank you guys, everybody at One Heartbeat, everyone that showed up, I mean, man, you guys are awesome. What can I say? <laughs> the Deacon Jam, awesome, tomorrow night too. I can go on and on, guys, I uh, have to share my gratitude and... Even though I'm going through a lot, and I don't talk about it a lot, just know that I think about you guys and I pray for you all day, every day. Even I pray for my enemies. I pray for healing. That's what it is. That the Lord reach into your heart and like grab a hold of it, resuscitate you. If not, you can come give me a hug. This is Amber Johnson with Helping the Good People, Sacred Sunday Circles, Mom Outreach. If you like what you hear or you like any of my videos, they're random, uncut. All of them are uncut. Um, like, subscribe, and share to my channel. That would be awesome. Share my videos for sure. And keep smiling. Stay tuned.